terms of uh, just on injuries, Matty Blair was on the comeback trail, back on the pitch. How, how close is he maybe to uh, getting back involved in the first team? Yeah, good. Matty's uh, good. As I said, you know, he's back in with the squad training and what Matty just needs is volume now, training. So he's out there, uh, trained today, looked good. Um, so there always is that, he's probably putting that carrot and that temptation in front of me. But the big thing for him, it's wonderful to have him back. Uh, he's a different player to what we've got in that midfield. So, um, you know, when we get him back, we'll, we'll be happy to get him back. But he's out there training with us and then we just feel we, he just needs a little bit more volume. Yeah, I mean, again, you know, it's the next game available for, for me because we just, we just keep the focus going. It's a tough game. You know, Shrewsbury have had a good, solid start to the season. They're a hard team. They're a durable team. Um, they stay in the game. Um, very, very difficult opponents to play against. Um, defensively strong. Um, a very athletic team. Um, so, you know, and, 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 and given chances where they'll get the ball down and play. Um, I think Sam's done a wonderful job there. I think he's doing a great job. Uh, and they seem to be getting stronger and stronger um, and he seems to have been implemented um, his style of play um, at the football club so they're solid uh, we know they're going to be difficult opponents but again it's the next game on our uh, football calendar and we look forward to the game and we look forward to the challenges what Shrewsbury are going to present us here tomorrow night and um, we look forward to facing them head on